April and I'm going to show you how to paint this simple daisy and we'll be using our deco art acrylic paints the Americana and the traditions along with their brushes so let's get started I used a chalk to outline my pattern chalks work really well when you're doing something freehand and I'm using the deep midnight blue and cool white for our background and we're using five different brushes for this project so let's start on our leaves and we're going to paint that with our flat brush and I have a mixture of sap green and Hansa yellow and we're just going to fill in fill in the shape get it really solid and it's okay to go inside your outer ring there for the petals and just fill it in because when we add our petals all that will get covered so once you fill up all your um, leaves we're just picking up a little bit of the dark or the sap green on one corner of the brush and we're just going to be pushing out pushing with our chisel that has the dark green on the corner and we're aiming towards the bottom of the leaf so always pick up paint with every side that you paint and when we do this there's more weight on the outer part of that brush and then hold your brush straight up and down as you pull and add that center vein. Let's go ahead and finish up our leaves here. Push, push. Slightly curve those strokes and connect and add that center line. Okay, I think we're done with our leaves. We're going to let that dry and we'll come back. I'm going to add my first layer of petals and I'll be using the angle brush. We're going to aim towards the center ring. We'll start our petals from the outside going into the center slightly. And we're mixing a little glazing medium with a little bit of white and burnt sienna to create kind of a, like a transparent warm white. Uh, this is going to give our flower a little more dimension um, when we start adding the bright white petals on top. So we want this underneath and we're just going to be leading, leading with our heel. So remember the angle brush has a long side and a short side and we're leading with the short side pulling in slightly into the center ring there and add pressure and release as you are pulling and that will give you the nice shape if you don't add the pressure and you pull you'll just get a straight line so make sure you do add pressure I'm just going to add a few more uh, second layers right here just to brighten it up a little bit and now we're going to wipe off the paint and pick up just pure white and we're going to add more petals second layer of petals um, and same way now to help you not get a pinwheel effect you know like the wind is blowing too hard to one side I did a 12 o'clock and a 9 o'clock petal and filled in right in the center there. And that will help you not curve your strokes. So I'm going to now do my 3 o'clock pressure and release and add a few more right in the center. Now as you're adding these petals in the middle, don't look at the background, just lay your chisel down and wherever that brush lands, let there be a petal. So, um, you know, with students ask, do I paint in between those petals? Um, nope, just ignore those and just add the second layer right on top. 
There we go. And the bright white with the warm white underneath gives it a little more dimension to your painting. Okay, just add a few more there. And we're going to switch our brush to our dome blender. And we're going to paint our center. So we're going to pick up a little bit of the burnt sienna and tap, tap down below the lower part of that circle. And then we'll wipe off our brush and now pick up a little bit of this bright orange yellow color and we're going to tap the center of that or the top of the circle and then lightly bring it down so that it will blend with the, the darker color on the bottom. We're going to take our liner brush and we're just going to add some little details right around the center. I like adding little dots um, and this is with our sap green, our dark, dark green. And just lightly touch with the tip of your liner brush and just kind of tap around the circle there and uh, make sure you are lightly tapping just the tip. We're going to pick up a little bit of our sap green mixed with a little bit of water and we're going to pull our vines or veins from the center line there. So remember to add some water when you're um, using the liner brush because that will give you nice thin lines and that's what we want. So we push out from the center slightly curving the strokes and we'll go ahead and add to the other side right here and we will finish up our leaves right here okay and now we're going to switch to our uh, filbert brush and that's a flat brush that's rounded at the top. We hold the brush between our index finger and our thumb and we roll the brush as we paint these leaves. So I'm picking up a little bit of the sap green with the yellow and we touch, roll, and lift. Touch, roll, and lift. And by slightly rolling that brush between your fingers, it will give you that nice point. So if you've never tried uh, this brush, it's a fun one to use and it makes nice, nice shaped leaves. Now I'm going to add some transparent leaves. Uh, wiped off the paint there, picked up a little bit of glazing medium, and the little bit of paint that's on the brush, we're just going to mix it into the glazy medium. Pick up a little bit of the sap green. And we are just going to add a few more. And what this does is just fills up the painting a little more without it looking too heavy or busy. Um, because they're transparent, makes it look airy and nice. Uh, now our last step here, we're going to go ahead and get our inky green here that's mixed with water and go ahead and, and add your stems for the leaves. And drag only the tip, don't push down very hard because we want to try to keep these very thin. Okay, and make your stems go in different directions. You don't want them going straight, and it looks nice to have a little curve in your, in your stems. Now, when the, you are all done, if you take your clean brush with a little bit of water, all the chalk lines will disappear. So just to go slightly around the dried leaves here, just to show you what you can uh, how easily the chalk will come off. And I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you give this a try. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.